Hey, this is Ben with the Calgary Video Creators, and there's been a topic that I just wanted to discuss with you guys really quick, because a lot of people, when they uh, want to start off a YouTube channel, and one of the main reasons why people either quit on a YouTube channel or decide not to do it in the first place, is because they think that they need a major budget just to create their own YouTube projects. But what I'm going to show you with uh, me and Jacob's channel, Legendary Studios Canada, is that you don't really need, you can spend some money, but you don't necessarily need an extremely high budget. Uh, look at just to make any good YouTube content. For example, when we got our equipment, this is basically, we were buying equipment as we went. And we accumulated a bit of equipment that we got actually at a really cheap price. So first off, with the green screen we have at the front, plus the lighting, they both, all the green screen lighting all came together in an Amazon deal that we got for a little over $100. The one ring lighting that we got, that we also ordered online, was only 50 bucks you see this tripod that's already part broken because we're look we're trying to get a new one but in the meanwhile we decided to duct tape our tripod because we still want to use this bad boy so we filmed a lot until we get a replacement we're still basically somewhat in a getaway filming with a ducked up tripod aiming in front of a green screen because that's where we do most of our recordings so we have a part broken tripod another one that I think we got for like 25 to like forty dollars and then we got partially set up some soundproof foam some of which we haven't even already done some of which we've reused some foam which we still haven't even fed up so it's like in pieces we have literally egg cartons that we somewhat use as soundproofing until we can get another supply of these guys to fill this up and then we have our little box that we keep all of our equipment in which is our mobile command center we have a reg red over here that, well, it's kind of in pieces, but we got it for 40 bucks. More camera equipment. Most of this box alone is basically like 100 to $200 worth of equipment in it. So in total, what all this would cost just for us to do uh, YouTube videos day to day throughout the last two years that we were basically running that I was in mainly involved in helping running the channel and expanding more equipment we've only spent like 500 a little bit over $500 within two years and then we have a backdrop some of which Jacob put together at which the shelving actually came with the uh, place so we basically used what we had in the basement we expanded it a little bit with extra equipment that we got off of Amazon and we and even though our equipment and our setups extremely ghetto we still make actually pretty entertaining videos for the most part we just went up from from when I joined in we our channel went up from 2500 2800 to at the mo at our current moment uh 13000 subscribers so we are getting traction so that goes to show that you can gain traction without really needing a high budget a good example of a basic youtuber that's had a massive following on a really low budget has been how to basic now obviously his new videos had a little bit more production value after he got a big hit but 
if you look back at his older videos, or if you look at any at back at any YouTuber's older videos, you can see that his older videos have been really simplistic and really quick. It's like four minute, four seconds to like sixteen to twenty five seconds. Like here's an example of a ten second clip. He literally just folds a sock, and that's it. And they're really simplistic content. Granted, his channel's really known for really wacky, wacky and really crazy personal skits, but this is a lot of his early content, and he was able to have success even off of all this. Goes to show you, it doesn't really matter basically how you start, as long as you commit to actually going through and growing your YouTube channel and figuring out and basically just learn along the way what works for you and what doesn't and push to push yourself to become better and basically do what you love filming the best and do whatever give do whatever your strength is cuz everybody's has a different niche or different type of content that they make. Some have been famous, some are still climbing. But as long as you take action and actually work towards it, towards your goal without procrastinating, without giving up, you will eventually get there. Some of us might get there early, some of us might get there like way later. But as long as you persist, you should be able to eventually make money off of doing something you love instead of surviving in a job or not not basically doing what you want to do in life anyways that is basically a wrap up thank you guys for checking this out i will be both me and jacob will be posting more videos as well as uh, some events that are going to be coming in the future of this community. And if there's any inputs that or experiences that you would guys would like to add, then make sure that you comment down below because I want to make this an internet interconnected Calgary community where everybody can share their opinion on what they've done for their channel. Anyways... This is Ben and I am out of here.